a quick intro to how it generates uh, sound reports. Um, this is just also for other editors and people that aren't familiar with Wave Agent and need to generate different reports in various different formats. I've imported a load of random um, files that I have. They're actually from two different projects. You can see this by the difference in the date. Um, it does uh, American style, which is quite annoying. So um, the year 21 and the year actually 2006, which is uh, quite a while ago. Um, there's lots of information that you can actually add to these fields. Um, as well as obviously play these files back um, individually as well uh, and you get more in-depth uh, look at uh, what's involved with them. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with them. Uh, the main thing for generating reports is obviously just to extract this information um, of like what the tracks are, what the notes are and obviously your time codes and things like that. So uh, basically drag and drop into this area any files that you have. Uh, ideally, m well I should say most commonly people are doing uh, sound reports by shoot day um, but obviously you could do like massive ones that then you can use a finder tool to then uh, kind of narrow down so you have one big report rather than having to open up multiple reports um, and then you even have the ability to split uh, channels as well and all sorts of stuff but let's just keep it simple and focus on the reporting so select all of the ones you actually want to um, make a report for you can also use the import tool if you need to, um, or clear them, which just clears them from this. Obviously nothing actually gets deleted from here unless you click delete files. So we're going to create a report, and these are kind of the main settings that I go for. I include kind of all the files. Uh, there is the option within sound devices to do um, extra like circled or non-circled takes and stuff, but I just include everything. I include frame rate. I just double check, usually the sample rate and the bit depth are the same all the way through. Start uh, time code length and then end time code is really useful. Notes we are actually including here in a row format just because they're easier to read. And we're doing track names not in row format because it just like writes them one after the other, which can get quite confusing. But I'll show you how the report looks uh, when I've generated it. I'll just replace it. That was a, like a demo one that I was using. Uh, so then if I find it, you can see that this is what this looks like. So T1 basically stands for track one, track two, track three. And these are poly files. So all of them are actually uh, like joined together within the same thing. If there were any notes, um, then, you, then they would appear here. You do have the ability, if you really wanted to, to add notes. So test notes. Here, so if you're going through, because you can listen back within this program, uh, you can you could quickly add notes if you needed to about like uh, this is the recording for X, Y, and Z. So if I just export that again, gives you a little preview down here of what it'll roughly look like as well. And if you need more header info, uh, which is at the very top, such as the project, so uh, you can just obviously have all these options available for um, just being more specific and helping you kind of sort things out. Uh, so there we go, so then we're just going to generate it again, I can save over the same one because this isn't important, and then go back to Finder, and you can see here my test notes have been added there. Uh, so this is a great way to get started with the Sound Devices Wave Agent, and remember broadcast wave files, this B wave, is the most useful file type just because it saves a lot more metadata, such as all of the different types of uh, things that you've called stuff. So I hope that helps, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.